Hey guys, it's Gigi Khan back with another video on how to install the Moki 5.1 on your Xiaomi Redmi 1s. So I'm currently running the CM 12.1 which is based on the Armani version and this is pretty good and but I wasn't happy with the battery backup and so this is how my phone looks like now and I'll show you how to install the Moki 5.1. So now we are on the phone and so first we'll need to reboot into the recovery mode by pressing the volume up button and the power button together just for 2 to 3 seconds until the Mi logo comes. So yes we'll release it now and it will turn into your recovery mode so you can have the TWRP or the CWM or anything like the fills. So first we'll need to wipe, advanced wipe then choose the first four options and then swipe to wipe so it will wipe all your data and after that make sure you have a backup of all this so that you can restore it later if anything goes wrong now I'll click on install then choose the file it is having some weird name like the 2VJUL something and click on add more zip we'll add the gapps file so which is a PA gapps mod modular micro 5.1 is a micro version so no problem so swipe to confirm flash and this might take around 3 to 5 minutes and this had taken over more than 2, 2 to 5 minutes for me and it is taking much longer than other rooms I have installed till now so our room is flashed and now it's flashing the PAG apps which is a Google apps and this micro version comes with the Google apps, Gmail and some of the frequent Google apps. So you can also try the nano version and you can check which suits you much more. All the links will be given in the, the description just below the thumbs up button. So yes we are done and now we'll click on reboot system. You can also install any kernel like the Peace kernel or the Accelerate kernel if you want. But I don't find it useful. I'll let you know in the comment section below if I find any of them good. And I need a good decent battery so that's what I'm checking for. So yes this is the Moki boot animation and this is a good one out there. And this may take up to 3 minutes so we'll wait for it. So now we have reached the setup stage so we'll select the language as English United States. I'll quickly connect to my Wi-Fi now which is a Geeky Wi-Fi. So as you can see that I have connected to my Geeky Wi-Fi network. We'll click on next and we'll proceed with the installation. We'll skip all these and we'll click on next. So yes this is the Moki version. So starting they'll ask us to uh, choose a launcher, we'll choose a Moki launcher. And as I've told you the Google Now launcher is already installed. Once we have installed the Google G apps. So I'll reduce the brightness so you can see it much clear. So as always I tried doing the O2 benchmark and which gave me a pretty good decent result. It was 22.163 which was a pretty awesome result you could get on your phone. And the battery backup was also very good, better than the CM12.1 Armani version. You can see that the slope is very much high so which will give you pretty decent results. And the next change which I could find on this device was the status bar. You could get the incoming and outgoing data like the speed of it and then there aren't any more changes it is same as of the olden one and the new feature is the direct call in dialer which was pretty good for me i had tried this and it works always so it would be like when you dial someone and when you keep it in your ear it will automatically call up that person so which makes the dialing much more easier and the camera also I have tried gave me much better decent results than the CM12.1. The images were taken up to 3.5 MB as you can see from here. Yeah 3.15 MB. And overall the performance was pretty good and I would highly recommend it to people who are going out for a journey and want pretty good 
it results on your battery so that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video do give this video a huge thumbs up and thanks for watching till next time this is geeky khan signing off